I'm Shelley Duvall. Welcome to Fairy Tale Theater. Join us for tonight's tale about a precocious little girl who learns to respect other people's property, especially when other people are bears. Uh-oh. Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Seems like I've been elected to tell you the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Of course, I can see why, me being the head ranger at the time, still am. This is where a little girl named Goldilocks lived, still does. That's her parents there on the porch. She was a pretty little thing, what with her golden hair and her beautiful smile and all. She was also kind of, well, Spunky. And this is where the three bears lived, still do. And they pretty much kept to themselves, especially in wintertime. Fact is, you'd hear nary a peep out of them until spring came. Well, almost. Anyway, this is just the way it happened. Ago. Excuse, Excuse me, me dear. Oh, All right, get up. Come on, get up. Oh, Bob, it's too early. Come on. 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 Bob, let me sleep just for two more weeks, please. I'm dreaming about food. We go through this every spring. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, Pop, I'm ready. Come on. You want to wrestle, huh? <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait till after I have my coffee. Oh, oh, oh. Mom. Oh, Mom, hurry up. I'm going to pop. Oh, it's all yours. Thanks, Mom. Oh. Look at this place. It looks like a pigsty. Well, that's why we have spring cleaning. First thing I think we should do is dust off all this furniture. How do we do that? Um. Oh, oh, my God. What if, what if we rolled all over the furniture, picked up the dust with our fur, and then went outside and <laughs> shook it off. Get these things. 
things off? Oh, well, where's your father? <coughs> Bill? Bill, where are you? I'm on the road. Well, what are you doing up there? I'm... I'm... I'm trying to figure out how to get down. Oh, for goodness sakes. Jump! Mom! Please, can I go out and play? No. You know, Betty, there's a leak on the roof. Oh, no. Yeah. You know, when I was up there, it was really beautiful. I could see the trees and the brook. There's a lot of fish in the brook right now. And the village was so clear. You know, I was thinking, maybe we should all get together and build a, an obs... Uh, an observey... an observation deck on top of the roof, and then we could... we could sit out there at night after dinner and just kind of look around, sit down, and... and, uh... And what, Bill? We could observe. So let me help you with that. No, no, Pop. I can get it. I can get it. Oh, son. <laughs> See, Pop? I told you I could do it. Now can I stay out and play? Yeah, but stay within growling distance. Pop. You know, if I only had something with steps on it. Lawrence Higgins shot himself with a bow and arrow. Right through the chest. I hope it's not serious. I don't understand. How can you shoot yourself with a bow and arrow? Well... The whole world's gone crazy. You know that. Bye, Mom. Bye, Dad. Bye. Oh, just a moment, young lady. Where do you think you're going? Down to the swimming hole? In your new dress. I just want to watch the other kids swim. It cools me off. So, uh, I assume that your studies are all finished? Of course. Uh, why don't you let me check them? Your, uh, teacher says that you're not keeping up. I wish I could, Dad, but my teacher told me not to let anybody see him because she said it's a big secret. I don't think so, dear. Well, okay. To tell you the truth, Dad, there was this big accident, and the papers got all wet, really soaked, and now I'm drying them out, and if you touch them, well, they'll just fall apart. Goldilocks, I think you'd better just go and do your homework. But it's Saturday! Don't you know that little kids just simply don't think as well on Saturdays? It's a scientific fact. If you would spend as much time doing as you do thinking of ways to get out of it, you'd be done already. Now go and do it! I guess I don't have to go swimming today. Ah. Now, here's some good news. Some scientist says the world's going to end sometime around July. Well, July's always been too hot for me anyway. Daddy. Uh-huh. What's 19 take away 11? Seven. No, eight. Eight! Thank you. It's, uh, it's a roof climber. Come over here and try it. Me? Yeah. Well, why don't you try it? Because you're not as heavy. Oh. You made it. Now you try it. Oh, all right. Well, I'll have to get back to this later. Right now, I've got more important things to do. Oh, I think this 
is going to be a great match, Bill. Yeah, those bees have been busier than a than, than bees. I can't wait to get home and get a whole bowl of honey. I and mean, then I'm gonna put them on my porridge and then on my berries and then I'm gonna oh I'm gonna put them on everything. I'm not proud. <laughs> oh boy, Cubby. Oh, to kill me. nonsense. They're more afraid of you than you are of them. You gotta learn to communicate. See, Pop. Buzz off. Ooh. Wow, Pop. Look at all those bees. Yeah. How do you how do you get all those bees in there, huh, Pop? Oh, it's simple. You just get a you get a you get a queen bee and you and you and you get some workers and they stay with her. Oh, how come, Pop? Do they like her? Do do they want to marry her? Oh, no. They, they just want to, they just want to, they want to, they want to help her. They want to work with her. They want to, they want to bring her food. Oh, oh, Pop, what if you got like a thousand bees all in one place? Boy, that'd be great, huh, Pop? Huh? Huh? Yeah, 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 son. That'd be great. Now, yeah, lunch. Yeah, then what, then what if you got like a million bees, a million queen bees, and, and some kings, too? Now, then what would you have, Pop? Huh? Huh? Probably a million, trillion, zillion of them, Pop. And then if, if they brought their families, then they'll like be little bobies. Will you knock it off? Yeah. Now go help your mother. Oh, oh, oh I think we got too much honey, Bill. Well, well that's okay. We could, uh, we could sell it. We could open up a, a, a roadside stand. And... There isn't any road. Well, we could open up a pathside stand and we could sell it to the tourists and, and we could make some money. But... What would, what would we do with money, Pop? Well, we we could give it away. Well, that's what we could do. We could open up a stand and we could give it away. Wow. Well, that might even help raise our position in the community. Yeah. my treasure what do you mean you fell asleep dolls don't fall asleep wait a minute where's my oh. here it is my piece of leather we have to be very careful there are highwaymen and robbers around in fact they may be close by No, no, they're gone. <sighs> but that's all right, because I'm here to protect you. What do you mean? Didn't I save you from those pirates yesterday? Well, that's why I have all this treasure. My treasure. But now, I'm on a special mission for a king. Kind of a spy. Don't you know what a spy is? A spy is a person who, well, spies all over the place. Uh. Shh. Be quiet. Uh. Uh. I think he's using some sort of secret code. I better go out and explore the area. Uh. You stay here and guard the fort. Maybe if I watered them down with some hot water. Boy, Pop, I'm hungry as a dog. I could eat berries and, and, and melons and, and, and squirrel and cake and, and some paper. And... <laughs> oh, no, we don't eat paper, son. <laughs> oh, I, I forgot. <laughs> Here we go, boys. Some nice porridge. A little bit for Cubby. A middle-sized portion for me. <laughs> and a great big, huge portion for Lardo here. Oh, well, I'm storing up for winter. 
It's spring pot. <laughs> <laughs> to get everything so hot. <laughs> I think I burned my tongue off. Oh, I'm Ooh. sorry. I haven't cooked in three months. Oh, that's okay. This is going to be hot for another hour. Why don't we go out and take a walk? Oh, Pop, I found this really neat tree. Could, could we go to the tree? Because oh, we... Oh, oh, no, no, not on an empty stomach. Ah, oh, no. come on, Pop. It's got great big branches and we can swing from it and stuff. Please, Pop, please. All right, we'll climb. <laughs> Any ghosts living here, I'm not afraid of you. Well, maybe it's just invisible people. Well, I'm hungry. Oh, oh it's too hot. Oh, that's much too hot. much too cold. Mm. What's the matter with these people? Mm. This one's just right. Mm. And that was some good porridge. Does anybody mind if I have a seat? Well, this isn't comfortable at all. It's too hard. Mm -hmm. This isn't comfortable either. It's too soft. What is the matter with these people? Mm -hmm. Oh, now this feels perfect. You just put yourself back together. I want to go lay down and rest. Dumb chair. Come in. Look at this big bed. Ow! Nobody can sleep on a bed like this. It's much too hard. Oh. This is much too soft. Can't believe it. Oh, I don't know. 
kind of thought it was fun getting lost. Not bad work, see? <laughs> Someone's been at my porridge. Oh, that's ridiculous. Nobody. <laughs> Wait. Someone's been at my porridge, oh. too. <gasps> Somebody's been eating my porridge and they ate it all up. <gasps> okay, hold it, hold it. Let's <gasps> calm down. This is weird. And just a little spooky. Let's not panic. <laughs> Let's behave ourselves like reasonable bears. <laughs> Let's sit down and think about it. Oh, so, someone's been sitting in my chair. Someone has been sitting in my chair. Big deal. Somebody's been sitting in my chair. They broke it all the pieces. Oh. <laughs> Why me? Oh, there's, 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 father will fix it. I just wish I knew what the blazes was going on here. Bill, Bill, I think we have been vandalized. But I, I don't, who would do this? I don't understand. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel so, so. Violated. I mean, to think someone would come into your house without even asking. But why, why, why would they play with our food and sit in our chair? Yeah. And That's what stumps me. And then they broke my things. I. Why would I find them? I'm. I'm. Oh, 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 okay, 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 okay. Simmer down, simmer down. Let's go check the rest of the house and see if there's any more damage. Oh. Let's look. In the bedroom. Oh, everybody stay real close. <laughs> Not that close. Mom. Oh, okay, now I've had it. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Oh. <laughs> Somebody's been sleeping in my bed. <gasps> there it is. Oh, there's a culprit. Bill, it's just a little girl. Well, I... Well, I don't care if she's a little girl. That doesn't give her the right to barge into people's homes without their permission. Oh, but Dad, can't we keep her? Please, please, can no, we? No, no, oh, no. Now, just... Okay, wake up! Roar! Roar! Bears! Roar! Roar! Pop! Now she's gone, and I don't have anybody to play with. Don't you think you overdid it just a bit? Well, I guess I did get carried away. But I sure was scary, wasn't I? Row! Row, row, row! Row! Says the widow O'Rourke has to have an operation. I thought she just had one. Well, it appears the doctor left his watch inside her stomach and now he has to go in and get it out says the watch isn't worth much but it does have sentimental value mom dad you're never gonna believe what happened to me i was out in the woods and there were these three bears out in the they woods i told me. you a thousand times not to do that you know you're not allowed out in the woods but daddy the big one growled you will me. have to learn to obey the young big man. one growled at me and... he's right goldilocks I'm afraid you'll have to be punished, so don't make any plans for tomorrow. Now go to your room. Kids. Now, I want you to pull out all of these weeds. That means those, and those, and uh, those over there. But, Father, what if one of these weeds has 
has a poison thorn and it sticks me and I die right here in the front yard. Well, that's just a risk we're going to have to take. So start pulling. Oh, and uh, hold quietly. I'm going to take a little snooze. Now, it just so happened that I was about to pay a visit to Goldilocks. I plan to use some of my child psychology to extract information. Hello there, Goldilocks. Well, hello there, Ranger. Why, what's a nice man like you doing out here? Well, actually, I'm just on my way back from the Ogden farm. Seems that somebody painted one of his cows green. Oh, really? How horrible. Fact is, he's pretty upset. Seems that somebody saw a young girl running away from the scene of the crime. These nasty weeds. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? Uh, I bet a green cow would look something like a dragon, don't you think, Ranger? I hadn't really given it much thought. This is the nastiest weed. I bet with those big, strong arms of yours, you could help me get it out. No problemo. Look, there's an art to it. You've got to get to the roots. Really? Yep, that's all in the wrist. Oh, you're awfully good at this, Ranger Johnson. Well, in fact, you're the best I've ever seen. Well, it does relax me. See, with a little practice, you get both hands going like a human plow. Uh, Ranger, what about, um, what about those wounds over there? I'll get to those in a minute. Well, then I decided to become a ranger. I got myself a little house in the woods. Got a hat. Got a badge. Got a belt. Get myself a shotgun. Ranger! Oh, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm just passing through. Say, Goldilocks did a great job on all these weeds. standing here trying to give away this honey. Today? Today. Oh. About seven hours. Seven hours. We haven't given away one free jar of honey. Nope. Honey! Free honey here! Bill? Why do they keep throwing these snacks at us? I don't know. Oh, hey, don't go away. Free honey. Phil, maybe we should consider the fact that people are terrified of us. No. Youth? No. Here, have some honey. No. <laughs> You should have seen that ranger pulling out all those weeds today. I was supposed to, and I didn't. You know why? Because I'm too smart. Oh, I'm hungry. Want a bite? All right, if you're not hungry. Oh, I'm the prettiest girl, and I have the most beautiful hair. And someday, with my beautiful hair, I'll probably be an opera singer because I... Shh, Clara! Clara, be quiet. Oh, I gotcha, you little wizard. You're not going anywhere yet. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Hey, wait, you forgot your tail. Oh, I'll, I'll catch you. you. Where are you going? Oh, what, what's this? Uh, wow. <laughs> hey, who 
What are you doing? You're you're that little. Yes, you are. <laughs> well, your father tried to eat me up into little pieces. No, he was just being grouchy. <laughs> Look at this. Hey, hey, that's my stuff and this is my place, so you can find a place of your own. Oh, come on. Let me stay, huh? Well, what will you give me? I got this. I got this li lizard tail. You can, uh, whoa. Okay, but you can't tell anybody about this place because this is where I live. You, you live here? Alone? Well, since my parents were killed by monsters, I have to. Oh. Um, look what I got. Wow. What is it? It's a silver dollar. See, what I do is, is I tell my, my father that I need money to buy school books. Mm. And of course he falls for it. And then I tell my teacher that my mother's having an operation and that my father's got the plague. And so she just feels sorry for me and gives me the books. I thought your parents were dead though. Oh, well that was before they died. Oh, boy. I wish I had a dollar. <laughs> what do you do with a dollar? You buy things with it, stupid. We'd like to buy a boat. Boat? Yeah, see? Now we're driving on the ocean. <gasps> Whee! Whee! Oh! Oh! Whoosh! Oh, look! A whale! A giant whale! Oh, my God! It's ramming the boat! Oh, oh I went fall into the ocean! No! No! I can't swim! I can't swim! Too bad! Ha, ha, ha! I just learned, and I'm really good. <laughs> and I'm swimming, and I'm so. I, oh, boy. Whew. You got anything to eat? Yeah. Look, just this old sandwich. Ooh. Ooh. I know, I know. I know a place where there are a billion blackberries, and we can eat them. Blackberries? Yeah, yeah. Where? Come on, come on. All right. Look out. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I want to go first. Oh. You let No problem. But what if they're still mad at me about the other day? I told you, they probably forgot all about it. Come on. Well, what in tarnations is she doing here? Uh, <clears throat> Pop, um, this is my uh, good friend, Goldilocks. Whoa. Pleased to meet you, sir. You have your gall coming back here after you played with our food, broke our chairs, and messed up our beds. But, Pop, Pop! What are you going to do now? Take a shower and dirty up our towels? Roll! But, sir, I knocked on the door, and oh. since I heard someone say, come in, and Ooh. I came in, and well, their food was just sitting there, and since I hadn't eaten in almost three days, I just oh, felt good. Yeah, yeah, and, and, and her parents are dead, and, and, and oh. she's all alone. Oh. 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 Well, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bite your head off. But, but you really shouldn't barge into people's houses without their permission. I know, sir. <laughs> well, oh, come on. Come on over by the fire. <gasps> oh, boy. <laughs> So nice. Cubby, what are we doing? We're sitting in front of the fireplace. Hmm. Well, isn't somebody going to light a fire? Fire, fire. Oh, no, no, no. It's too hot and uncontrollable. You can get singed. You can get burned up. Oh, no, that is fire isn't what's important. What's important is that we're together and... We're happy. And there's no smoke. Once 
Once upon a time, in a kingdom far, 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 far away in the heavens, there was... And so it seems that the three bears had fallen for the orphan bid. And, being the kind folks that they were, they went all out to make Goldilocks feel at home. They even brought out a spare bed, and Mama Bear read a good night story to the young'uns. But she didn't care, because she had... Meanwhile, back at Goldilocks' house, her parents were just a mite concerned. Goldilocks, where are you? Goldilocks! Now it was about this time that I got officially involved in the whole mess. You see, Goldilocks didn't bother telling anybody where she was and what she was doing. Pretty hair or no pretty hair, I had a feeling she was going to be a tough nut to crack. Ranger Johnson! Ah, we're glad you're here. You got a problem, folks? It's Goldilocks. She's missing. Again? Oh, yeah, but she's never been gone this long. You've got to find her. Now, hold on to your hat. Now, when did you see her last? What are you guys doing? Oh, we're sorry, Goldilocks. We're doing our morning exercises. Care to join us? No, no, I just want to sleep. Oh, no, you don't. You get up right now. Come on. Come on. What? We're going to go fishing. Fishing? Yeah, come on. Fishing? That's worth getting up for. Oh, does anybody have an extra fishing pole? What? Oh, yeah. We pull our fish in baskets. We don't have to stack them on yeah. pole. No, a fishing pole, you know, with hooks and bait. You reel them in, you know. <laughs> That's the craziest thing I ever heard. <laughs> no, well, we don't use any of that. What we do is... Uh, we look in the water and we see the fish and then bam bam we hit them upside the head <laughs> yeah and then then we just eat them up you mean you just reach down and grab them? oh not grab whack whack <laughs> like that and then after that we can take her to see the beehives oh that's a good idea yeah. come on now, oh, okay. whack whack try try your left okay. wow. then you on. Have a pop. you're kidding no pop Now, while Goldilocks was having all that fun with them bears, I was expertly trying to ascertain her whereabouts by engaging in scientific pursuit, also known as following her footprints. Things were starting to fall into place. See, isn't that neat, all those bees, huh? And, and they all have names, too. <laughs> There's Diane. And, and Carl, and Phil, and Albert. <laughs> oh, that's not Albert. That's Alberta. <laughs> so you mean you try to sell all this honey and, and make a fortune, huh? No, no, no. We don't need any money. No, we, we don't want to sell it. We try to give it away to roadside stain, but the people were wary. So you mean you try to give away all this honey? Mm hmm We had way too much. Don't you people know anything? Listen, here's what we'll do. I'll sit at your roadside stand and I'll sell your honey. I'll wear my prettiest dress and comb my hair real nice and smile my best smile and we're sure they'll fall for it. Why, why do you try to fool them? Well, because. So we can be rich. Oh, no, we, we don't want to sell the honey. We want to give it away. Tell them it's from the bears. <laughs> Meanwhile, I was still immersed in my investigation, gathering clues and trying to find the missing piece to this puzzle. I felt I was getting close. Of course, they didn't care. They were too busy playing bear games. Three words, three words, three words, three words, three words. 
One word. First word. First word. First word. First word. Ear, ear, ear. Ear. Rhymes. It rhymes. It rhymes. Oh, sounds like. Sounds like. Sounds like. Sounds like. Thumbs down. Me, 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 me. Mine. Ours. Ours. Ivanhoe. 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 And we're gonna go up, no, no, very slowly up, wee, and jump up high, and turn around, and oh, that's beautiful. Um, oh, uh, holy oh. I, I don't think this is gonna work. <laughs> Besides, we don't want to join the circus. Yeah, but we could maybe learn how to ride a bicycle, huh? Sure, you want to join the circus? We'll travel the world. We'll be famous with me as your manager, of oh, course. Oh, no. We like it here just fine. Thank you anyway. Oh. oh. I'll get it. Hi, Ranger. Oh, well, well, Mr. Johnson. Hello, Come Bill. on in. Hello, Bill. Hello, Betty. Little fella. <laughs> Can I get you anything? Some honey? A squirrel, perhaps? No, thank you, Betty. Well, uh, you wanna wrestle? <laughs> actually, actually, Bill, this is not a social visit. Oh, well, if it's about those stolen picnic baskets, we had nothing to do with no, it. No, no, that's not it. What we have here is a missing child. In fact, her parents are pretty upset about it. Now, I did me some detective work, and I figured she just might have passed this way. Uh, is this young, uh, individual, uh, female Caucasian with beautiful hair? As a matter of fact, yes. Excuse me, Mr. Johnson. That's a mighty pretty dress you got there, Betty. Is that new? <laughs> oh, no. Goldilocks. So there you are, you little runaway rascal. It, it wasn't my fault. They kidnapped me and had been holding me prisoner, Ooh. and I couldn't get away. Thank goodness you're here to save me, Ranger. Dad, why is she saying those things about us? I, I thought she was our friend. Well, I don't know, son. Bill? Betty? Is this true? Of course it's true. They snatched me from the forest. And... 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 I can't do it. They didn't kidnap me. They'd never hurt anybody. They're the nicest bears in the world. Sorry. It's just that I was having so much fun, I just couldn't leave, and you guys are just... Oh, oh we love you too, Goldilocks. <laughs> but you shouldn't have lied. If you got parents, you should go to them. They probably miss you very much. I know. But you know what? You can come back and play anytime you want to. <laughs> Take me away. <laughs> So, thanks to my diligent and perceptive ranger work, Goldilocks was reunited with her parents. Goldilocks! Goldilocks! She's home! Goldilocks! But she didn't forget the bears. Fact is, she went back the very next day, bearing gifts, if you'll pardon the pun. A new porridge bowl for Papa. A bedspread for Mama. Isn't that pretty? And a brand new little chair for Cubby. <laughs> chair for Cubs. <laughs> So I guess you could say that Goldilocks had become a changed person thanks to the three bears. She stayed out of trouble and grew up to be a very nice lady. In fact, she's got a little girl of her own with pretty golden hair. And most of us lived happily ever after. Mm -hmm.